Hey there, welcome in the tutorial about the Golem for Unreal plugin. In this video, I'll focus on uh, how to bring your character's uh, geometry within the Unreal Engine. So right now I'm running Golem 6.4 and I've just opened a Maya character here, which uh, as I've uh, used it in a simulation, I obviously have its Golem character file version of it within uh, Maya as well. So um, you can check, we've got plenty of tutorials to show you how to make that kind of characters. So it stores the skeleton of the character, but also the geometry repartition. And one thing you want to take care of before loading that character within Unreal is that Unreal is making an optimization as soon as two meshes shares, uh, share the same material that will be merged when imported. Which means that um, here, for example, I've got like a long pants and a short pants. Those two meshes share the same surface material. And if I load the character as it with an Unreal Engine, those two meshes will be merged as just one. So in some situation, it could make sense. But in that particular situation here, it doesn't because it means that I won't be able to make geometry variation. I won't be able to hide one mesh or the other depending on what's the weighting of uh, the pants asset group because the two will be merged together so there will just be one mesh so I won't be able to separate them uh, separate their visibility uh, anymore so to deal with uh, this optimization we propose uh, some uh, Python code uh, so you can find that piece of code within the Unreal um, documentation on the Golem website if we take a look at it, it has uh, two different lines to import the different modules. It has a line which uh, lists all the selected meshes, and then on those selected meshes, it called a function called make unit material per mesh. So what it does is just parses all the meshes you provide as a parameter, and every time two or more meshes have the same materials, it just creates a new material. So let's uh, select my mesh first, so select the transform, go into select here, uh, make sure that we select the hierarchy and run that piece of script. So it goes like super fast and you can see that some meshes now are gray. Uh, so if we take a look at it, they're just being replaced with uh, a dummy uh, surface shader. So it doesn't make any sense, it's just a Lambert, but as it's a different material when it's gonna be imported within Unreal, it won't be merged with uh, the other body parts. So I'm good with that. So I want to make a, a new GCG version of that file. So within my character file, I'm gonna re-export re this, export this as a GCG. I'm gonna put that into a, a different folder. Uh, so it's gonna be my codeman underscore light. I'll make sure to uh, keep the same names for the GCG. And I want to remove the previous entry, which is that one there and I want to save that character file as a different version. So I may want to use that one to make the simulation so it doesn't change anything within Maya, but within Unreal, I want to import a different uh, character file. So I'm gonna save this within the Unreal folder. Make sure it has the same name uh, we've seen in the previous video that the name of the character file uh, is important because when you're gonna load the assets, it needs to have exactly the same name as well. So Chrome and Light and save that within the Unreal folder. So, okay, I'm good. Now I can go jump into the Unreal Engine and I can import my character file. So what you want to go is you're into the Unreal uh, folder, which is where I exported my new version of my character file. And I'm gonna import it. It's gonna figure, uh, it's gonna figure out uh, where is the geometry file. So it's gonna import everything, create a skeletal mesh for uh, the skeleton and the geometry and the skinning, a skeleton node, and for every material which exists into the character file, it would create a new material entry within Unreal. So um, in uh, another video, we'll show you how you can set up new materials and make sure to have asset variation. As a quick check, I can just uh, open the Golem library and uh, create uh, a scene and fetch everything. So, Apparently here it has not detected my code man light, so maybe I haven't write it. Oh, it's casual man light. So sorry about that. It's um, so I, I could have I could have linked the two together if I wanted to, 
uh, I could have still have uh, you know connected those two here, like we've seen into the first video. But if you want it to be automatically connected, make sure that you got the right name. So I can rename that asset here. Call it Casual Man Light. And uh, now if I go into the Golem library and open it, now I've got it correctly fetched. So I hope it makes sense and uh, see you in the next video.